to see, even if it's a total distortion of reality. Smoke and mirrors at its finest. Now, with that in mind, let me ask you, who has the skills to help Big Pharma disguise deadly poison as life-saving medicine? Who has the guile to convince the American people that the innocent-looking pill they take every night is safe, even though it's proven to increase risk of death by 530%? Who has the connections to make the U.S. government complicit in a deadly con game that makes Big Pharma rich while killing an innocent American every five minutes? Hillary Clinton, that's who. Make no mistake, Big Pharma is more than happy to pay a king's ransom for her expertise. If you think she got paid a lot to speak at Goldman Sachs, believe me when I tell you, her Wall Street payday looks like minimum wage compared to what the big wigs at Big Pharma fork over. For example, in June 2014, Hillary made a jaunt to sunny San Diego where she met with the biotech industry organization. Her compensation, $335,000 for one hour. On March 13, 2014, Hillary traveled to Orlando, Florida to talk with the Pharmaceutical Care Management Association. She was paid $225,000 for one hour. Also in March 2014, Hillary jetted to Manhattan, where she received $250,000 to share her ideas with drug, chemical, and associated technologies. On and on it goes. In October 2014, Hillary collected a quick $265,000 from the Cardiovascular Research Foundation. In February 2014, Hillary met with Novo Nordisk, the $130 billion manufacturer of Victoza, a blockbuster diabetes drug that's been linked to 300 deaths. Novo Nordisk paid Hillary $125,000 to impart her wisdom. What does Hillary Clinton have to say to Big Pharma that's so incredibly valuable? Well, we don't know for sure because she refuses to release transcripts. But it's safe to say Big Pharma wants to know all of Hillary's dirty tricks. It's not easy to sell deadly poison and call it medicine. Yet that's exactly what Big Pharma is doing. Their ruthless game of smoke and mirrors claims an American life every five minutes. With Hillary's guidance, they're probably going to double sales. And you can bet, every time Big Pharma sells another pill, Mrs. Clinton smiles and rings the register. Remember, these are not just any pills. They are deadly drugs that claim an American life every five minutes. And with Hillary on board, these drugs are going to be even harder to spot. Listen, these drugs don't have poison labels on them. They're backed by the U.S. government. They appear safe and are used by more than one in 10 Americans every single day. In fact, chances are good that at least one of these